Hello everyone, thanks for coming outside me today. So I thought I was doing all right in the whole arrow spinner category, and then like usual, Sirius Archery shows up and makes it 4,000 times better. So this is a Pine Ridge Archery Aero Spinner. It's a pretty industry standard, and it has been for quite some time. The issue is, though, is that the tolerances on it are not that great. Um, for example, you know, here it is in fully uh, made up mode it comes in pieces it, it's meant to be collapsible and, and take places with you but that was for a lot of slop i mean you can see i can completely twist out of uh of square the two rollers here the whole bearing system could be completely out of square so you kind of have to hold it in the center also it's pretty short i like my arrow spinners to be a little bit longer particularly since i have really long arrows i'd like to be closer out towards the ends and uh serious archery answers the bell on both accounts and it's not that much more in price this thing runs about 25 bucks I believe the Sirius right now is around 45 to 50, uh, and it's built 10 times better. So the quality control over there is going to be obviously better. Uh, definitely all machined parts and metal parts, much nicer bearings, much more robust build. So let's get the unboxing going because uh, when they ship this to me, it looks pretty daggum awesome. So let's take the camera over and take a look at the new Sirius Aero Spinner. All right, so here we are with the box. Beautiful, we'll get to the packaging here in a second, but just as a basic size comparison, you'll have to forgive the uh, tripod leg here. It's just gonna kind of be janky and in the way. Just to kind of give you a general overall size comparison, the Pine Ridge itself is uh, about 10 and a half inches, and the Sirius in its box is over 18, almost 18 and a half inches long. So I'm that much wider length that I want uh, with an arrow my size. And just in general, it's good to have, because because your ends are where your wobble is going to be, not necessarily in the center. And also, of course, I don't have a weight here, but the absolute weight when we get out of the packaging definitely as well. The weight difference here is insurmountable. Definitely a win for the Sirius. Beautiful. Love this brown wrapping paper. Nice and neatly taped. Little black ribbon around the center. Let's get a nice fancy knife here and slice this open. Surgical precision requires a surgical blade. So let's come back here. You know what? I'm actually going to come up here and cut this off. Beautiful. Gotta love attention to detail, which is just the name of the game when it comes to Sirius. Their arrows are this way, of course. The components from Ethics. Eventually, I'm just gonna rip into this, like a, just like a four-year-old at their birthday party. <laughs> you know what to heck with it. Oh, there you go. Aero spin tester. That's what I'm talking about. The moment of truth. Ah! Oh my. So we have the two brackets here for the ends with the uh, roller bearings. We'll prop break those out in a second. Then we have the meat and potatoes here, which is the whole base. Oh, that is excellent. That is That is just really good. Absolutely love the look of that. Bottom here has a protective film. I'm going to leave that on there for now. It's almost like it's a tracked system the whole way through. This is where our feet are going to end up going here. They're keyed over here. We'll get to those in a second. No instructions, but this is pretty stinking self-explanatory. Let's get the box out of the way. I need things that are made super simple. I am not an engineer. I am not a rocket scientist. I need square peg, square hole, thumb screw, which is what we've got going on here. If I can you know, see, I can't even get it out of a plastic bag. All right. So this is almost looks like it's almost like a 3D printed material, but definitely more of a polymer. Very interesting. Incredibly lightweight, but definitely has a really durable feel to it. Almost like a Kydex holster. Really interesting here uh, how this is put together. Oh, that is smooth. Let's see if we can figure this out here. So we definitely have the channel, the two track. I'm just going to plug and play here. Simple keying. Come up top. The thumb screw over here on the other side, I'm assuming we'll have to pivot that to tighten. And of course, being serious, you got some serious, even with this being like a 3D printed looking thing, this is some seriously tight tolerances here. There we go. Very, holy cow. Very tight tolerance there. Get that flush in the end. Thumb screw then will seat. On the other side. Wow, that's a very clean look. Real clean look there. We'll take this protective film off in the end here, but let's get the other side. Same deal. Thumb screw. Keep that down. Look at that. 
Oh yeah. So what we have here, what did we say? A 10 change for the, uh, let's get them back up here side by side. So from uh, front edge of bearing to front edge of bearing, we'll go off of that because that's actually where the support is, is 10 inches uh, dead on for the Pine Ridge. And front edge of bearing to front edge of bearing here is 15 and uh, 5 eighths. 15 and 5 eighths. So we're gaining uh, over five and a half inches of a total span here, which is just plain awesome. Uh, let's see, let's get a whole bunch of arrows here and stick them up on. And actually, I wanna, show, I wanna see something first. Let's grab an aluminum. So let's grab, these are nice big fat bearings here. Oh, yes. All right, so this is a 2315 aluminum. I want to hear how quiet this is because, and I'll, I'll play it here on the uh, on the Pine Ridge here in a second. Let's see, these were nice, real big fat bearings, I think, and just the overall size of it. Let's see how quiet it is. Oh, my. Yeah, that's excellent. Let me play it on the Pine Ridge for you. To you, <laughs> to you at home, that might not sound like much. To me, this is nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> and when you're sitting here spinning aluminum arrow after aluminum arrow after aluminum arrow for indoor or for hunting, uh, that just is icing on the cake how quiet that is. Also, there's no, these are, the bearings are far enough away from each other and you actually sometimes have a little bit of play. It doesn't look like here, but you have a little bit of play to make this smaller or larger. The, the, uh, bearings on the Pine Ridge crisscross, they overlap with each other. And so what you get is you get this kind of wobble to your arrow as these kind of pivot off each other. Since these are, are separate and they're so, the tolerance is so tight and they're directly across from each other, there's no like interior wobble. When I say interior wobble, as the arrow was spinning, it would often kind of, the whole arrow would kind of pivot back and forth like this. If you got it going fast enough, of course, it doesn't want to do it for me now. You sit here and spin it long enough, though, you'll eventually have, like, the whole arrow would start to kind of do this wobble thing. But since you've expanded that, it's, it gets rid of it. Because it's, these bearings are offset, it's so much nicer. Let's grab a carbon. All right, so i got a collection here of carbon shafts. Let's start with the Orion. That fits in there nice and tight. Oh, yeah. And see, when you get, and this is one thing, when people put first kind of put an arrow in a spinner, they just, they just launch it, right? And they're kind of looking at it. You don't want to be launching your arrow because like with that Pine Ridge, if I go to launch it, when I go to actually do, do something like that, right, it, it doesn't actually hold. But then more importantly, and you see how like it doesn't, it'll start to come off like that. It really starts to track. If you can watch, if you can watch down here, this cresting, watch how close it gets to this wheel. You really get it, it just starts, it starts going because it's scissoring. And that's really annoying when you're trying when you're trying to run shafts or if you got a really high FOC, or for me, I got a really long arrow, I gotta watch that because my weight up on the front end. Because eventually, if you get too far, it'll start to get off the uh, off the rails a little bit. And here, see how it's starting to do that? And it starts to pick up and it'll get that wobble to it. You don't want that. But since this is so far apart, and it's also not walking, it's not wandering at all. I, could, I mean, I can really give that a, ooh, I, really, I can really give this a shot if I really wanted to not going anywhere you really want to have a good rpm where you can actually watch it so this is um definitely within tolerance you know watching the arrow here front and back end is spinning like an absolute top it would touch a wobble up here but definitely within spec the nice thing about having a good arrow spinner too is you really get a good feel for what a six thousandths or a three thousandths or one thousandths arrow looks like here's an apollo and again it's not walking oh that's so nice i was worried it would walk on me but it doesn't here's a vulcan I love these Vulcans. I like a standard diameter arrow in general for hunting in particular or as a crossover into 3D. And these things are just built like freaking tanks. Little heavy for 3D, but for hunting, they're built like tanks. That's a really, really straight arrow too. I'm just really impressed with the overall build quality. Like I said, let's see if I can take off this protective film down here. Oh yeah, that'll be the cleanest this will ever be ever again. <laughs> Oh, that's just built so well. Oh, there's always a little piece at the end. That's just built so well. Like I said, it looks like it's 3D printed, but it, it has more of a Kydex feel to it. Very light, very rigid. I don't have a way, if you've never handled Kydex before, you don't know what I'm talking about. For those of you that play with Kydex for saddle hunting or for gun holsters or whatever, that's what it feels like to me. Very robust. Still can break it down. You know, you can undo your thumb screw here. 
and that'll just pop right off and you can cart it around that way if you really want to. Uh, but quite frankly, this will never leave my shop, so that is awesome. All right, so that's all for this video. It is definitely out with the old and in with the new. Very excited to get this. This is going to see a lot of RPMs of carbon and aluminum shafts in the years to come. I think Sirius has made an excellent product here, and I think it is well worth the investment. If you're in the market for an aero spinner, it's worth the extra 15, 20 bucks to get one that has this extra span is built this robustly you can still take it down if you need to you can also replace these bearings these are just basically uh souped up skateboard bearings is what they are uh, and you can replace them if one gets worn out where you can't on the pine ridge and of course being all metal with this very interesting um polymer kydex feeling uh end caps I think it's well worth it. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you have any questions about the Sirius Aero Spinner or any other gear that pertains to the sport of archery, follow the links in the description below. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, send me an email, or you can even leave a comment here on YouTube. Hope you would get outside, enjoy the sport of archery, archery hunting if you so choose. Definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation, and we'll get to see you next time.